Hey, what's up, everybody? David Wood here once again for DavidWoodFX.blogspot.com with another GIMP tutorial. And in this GIMP tutorial, I will be showing you a variation of the Heroes Eclipse tutorial that I did. Uh, the one that I did, it was more custom made than the actual Heroes logo looks. It had rays shooting off and it was more of an orange color. So in this tutorial, we'll focus more on creating one similar to this. You can see it doesn't have the rays, it's just more like an atmosphere. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to create a new 600 by 600 image and fill the background with black. Create a new blank layer and fill it, or a new transparent layer, excuse me. Take the ellipse tool and near the center click and drag out and then hold down shift to make sure that it's uh, properly sized equally and then hold down control to scale it from the center and we'll make it right about there uh, then we can go ahead and fill that with white and then select none and then we'll do layer auto crop layer then we can use the alignment tool and just center that up then we do layer layer to image size then we'll duplicate this twice, take the top one, change the color to black by inverting the color. And then these bottom ones we are going to take and give a Gaussian blur to them. So the very bottom one will give a Gaussian blur of say 80. And you can see the effect there. It's not incredibly noticeable. Uh, we'll go into colors, levels, alpha channels and then grab the white slider and push that out more like that and then we'll repeat the Gaussian blur okay and then we will take this layer and move it over and up just like that then this other layer here uh, we can give that one a Gaussian blur of say 20 and this one instead will move it down slightly so we have a little bit of a cloud effect on this side then we can go ahead and merge these layers with the background alright now what we'll do is we'll create a new blank layer or actually a new black layer and go to filters render clouds solid noise turn on randomize take the detail up to 15 and increase the size for both accounts. Uh, you can go all the way up to 16 if you want. I'm going to do more around 10. And then take this layer and set the blend mode to overlay. And as you can see, we've got the cloud effect going in, or the cloud effect now. And if we turn on the top layer, we can see it there. And it doesn't look too bad. Um, let's see. I'll go back into that. I guess I could increase the size more to around 13. <clears throat> and set it back to overlay. Okay, that looks pretty good. If you wanted, you could probably uh, even do a turbulent effect to this. And we'll see how that looks and then invert the color of that and it doesn't look so good but if you play with the opacity you get a pretty good result and we'll leave it at that and then we'll create another new layer doesn't matter what color it is go to filters render clouds plasma click on randomize and increase the turbulence to three and then do f colors desaturate and you can play with the different uh, shade of grays to be based on. Uh, for this example, luminosity really gives it a very good contrast, so we'll choose that. Set the blend mode of this also to overlay. And we got the cloud noise going on in there. Uh, we can turn the opacity of both these layers down. We'll create a, another new black layer, and we'll set that on overlay just to kind of remove some of the effect and lower the opacity of that as well. Okay, now uh, we can take this solid here 
and move this below one of the cloud layers. We'll uh, rename this one noise and this one can be clouds. Okay. Uh, then we, what we'll do is create a new layer right above that the black eclipse part. Fill it with black. Take the gradient tool foreground to transparent. Make sure we're painting with or stroking with a white to black. Set the layer mode to screen and we might even bring up the offset. So uh, wrong one. Also set the shape to radial. So you can see here when the offset is up it increases the amount of white before it becomes gray and then black. So you'll have an actual a uh, hot spot right in the center. So we can just set that up and then add that. And that's a little too much. We'll lower that. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's see. All right, just like that. That looks pretty good. We'll add a slight feather to this black layer but we'll only do about five for that. <clears throat> All right, looking pretty good. Now what we need to do is to color this layer, and to do that, we'll create a new layer, fill it with white, that's fine. Uh, go into Colors, Colorize, and decrease the lightness, and then change the hue to a yellowish color. Um, right like that, looks pretty good. We can increase the saturation and then set the blend mode of this layer to overlay and then we'll duplicate the layer set the blend mode to dodge and that's way too bright but we'll go into colors hue and saturation and we'll adjust the settings uh, to make this let's see we'll make this a little oranger more like that we can decrease the lightness increase the contrast and set that back on overlay or dodge. In this case, dodge is really, really bright for where it is, but if you were to take the lightness down, it would lessen the effect and get a pretty cool result. And even bring down the saturation. Uh, so just like that. So using two control uh, layers, one set on overlay and one set on dodge, we can get some pretty awesome results. This one will make a little bit more yellow. Let me decrease it. Let's see. Alright, just like that. And then play around with the opacity of these as well, because we don't want it to be overly bright and throw off the whole effect. Uh, once we've got all that done, then we can do layer, new from visible, take the scale tool, and bring that down. Whoa, I forgot that I need to have the chain linked between those, so it'll scale proportionally. Bring that down, and then type out our ten text using Futura, H-E-R, space, space, E-S. Increase the size between the letters. All right, just like that. And then we can take this layer and position that in the center. And there we have it. Okay, a much more official result. Um, more like the actual hero's logo. Uh, there we go. As you can see, the colors are a little uh, too much, so just decrease the saturation. Fool around with the blend modes of these. Uh, this noise layer ha is way too visible. And, you know, just fool around with the settings. Possibly change the blend modes of some of these layers around. But anyway, you can get a really neat result and continue fooling with it and you can get a lo uh, look uh, much 
closer to this. Anyway, uh, that's it for this tutorial. This has been David Wood for David Wood FX, and I will see you guys next time.